Okay, today we're out working on uh, infinity variable speed heat pump. I did change the coil on this one before, an inside coil, and but now, after changing uh, the coil, I'm having a TXV problem. Um, <coughs> the reason why I replaced the coil before was because the actual fin pack of the coil was leaking, um, the evaporator coil. And what we'll do, what I'll show you today, is on these variable speed infinity heat pumps there is a an actual pump down mode where um, on the control you set it to pump down mode starts the unit and when it's done pumping down or on our gauges it's to zero then we pull the disconnect of the unit so I'll show you that today, and let me change my refrigerant, okay, so we're working on Forte, nine, ten A, okay, okay, escape, we're at four ten A, and what I already did, went inside, and I'm right I put it in pump down so all I got to do is go back inside and hit the start and it will pump down I do have to close the, the liquid valve and I'll get this closed and then we'll go in and hit the button and I'll show you where to find it in the menu this valve closed here and then I'll partially want to close that suction valve because man that thing's got a long stem on it it takes a while to close at least get it started a little shot. Alright, let's go inside. Okay. Now, all right, we'll get into our advanced menu by pressing and holding it advance. And we're in installer menu. We're gonna go check out. Check out heating, cooling, charging, pump down, evacuation, and then we can even calculate our charge. So I'm going to pump down, cooling, 120 minutes of runtime, and we'll hit start. Now let's go outside. So we're out here now. Our unit is running. And as you can see, so I got my liquid line closed. I put it in pump down, and now it's going to pump down. It's going to keep on running until I pull the disconnect. got a long stem on the suction so I'll start closing it partly. Right now I'm down to uh, 17 PSI.
Let me close this valve. one is I have to replace the TXV and uh, I got to put the insulation back down here so I got to pop this fan off actually get in the unit and put the noise insulation back on there so let me get this TXV started and I'll take some video of that okay I got the new TXV on um, my equalizer tube when I tried to take it out it broke off so I'm gonna have to cover that hole what I did is drilled a new hole uh, for the uh, equalization tube off the TXV and I gotta fit some pipe up from here to here and then once I get it fitted up I gotta get my bulb strapped on, get that strapped on and insulated, and then uh, start shooting the video again after that. Okay, <clears throat> got to fit it up. Use the home more to give me a good sledge there. So let's get this raised in. nice and cool so we got those braised in got that cat that's braised in so I'm gonna get my 
all down and do it vacuum. We got this mammoth fan out of here, right there. With those big whopping blades, heavy as hell. Uh, I got to put these insulation jackets on, and the only way to do it is get in the unit. So I've been sitting out in the sun here for a minute. Oh. So, here, let me crawl inside this unit. That's good to go. Like, yay, yay, yay. Right there. Alright. So, now this is the inside jacket. Outside one on. That's the fun one. So here I am sitting on the edge of the unit. Oh, my nose up. Oh boy. Get that big mammoth fan back on there. Okay. Get back to you in a second. 